Hello friends, today we are going to start with our new chapter. The name of our chapter is A Gift of Chappals. Yes, you've heard it right. It is Chappals, the sleepers that we wear. So, A Gift of Chappals. This chapter is basically divided into two parts. The first part and the second part, if you will uh, check your books. Now, the first part basically talks about a girl whose name is Mridu. And uh, she lives with her thap, Tapi and Thatha. Now you must be wondering what is Tapi and what is Thatha. Tapi is grandmother in Tamil. In Tamil we call grandmother as Tapi and Thatha is grandfather. So what happens basically Mridu lives with her grandparents. So one fine day what happens Mridu's grandmother asks uh, and tells her that today we are going to your aunt's place and the name of the aunt is Rukumani. So they are visiting Rukumani's place. So in the first part you will see how the cousins get excited to see Mridu. Uh, they share uh, their secrets with Mridu. This is what happens in the first part. And in the second part, you will later on uh, find Lalli learning violin uh, from the music master and how the beggar appears. So our story is basically divided into two parts. So let's proceed forward. forward. And before moving forward, I hope that the, that the basic is clear to you that Mridu is a girl and living with her grandparents and they are, now they are going to visit Rukumani. And these are the cousins of the girl, Lalli, Ravi and and Meena. So let's start. Now what happens in the beginning? Now first of all we are going to go into the chapter but before this just imagine that you are uh, visiting your cousins and what happens? Your cousins get excited to see you. So similarly happened with Ravi. Ravi got excited to see Mridu. So what Ravi did? Ravi pulled Mridu inside. Come come let's go let's go. So this is the scene. What's happening in the scene? So Ravi pulled Mridu. Wait let me take off my slippers. Now Mridu says that why are you pushing me so fast? Let me take off my slippers. So Mridu takes out her slippers very neatly and keeps them aside but while keeping her slippers she notices now what she notices is very important now in the beginning she does not pay much heed to it but she notices these black slippers you can see Mridu notices a pair of large black slippers with marks of toes now marks of toes uh, shows that they are very old and they are very worn out. So these were the slippers, okay? So you just keep this in your mind that she saw some slippers, okay? This is what happened. So uh, she did not uh, think about whose slippers they were. She just went inside, kept her own slippers and went inside. Now let's see what happened next. Now her cousins, Ravi and Meena, they were very excited. They wanted to tell her a secret. Now the secret was about a kitten. Here is a kitten. You see that they have kept a kitten. So she, uh, they were telling her the whole story. Ki unke paas kitten kaise aai aur wahan par kaise aai. So a very small kitten lapping up milk from half coconut shell. You see that there will be a coconut shell. They were giving uh, milk in that coconut shell. Meena and Ravi found it outside the gate mewing. They were telling her cousin Mridu that this morning we found a cat. That, that cat was mewing and mewing in the morning. So we took that cat and Side. Now Meena tells Mridu that it's a secret. Uh, the way uh, we cousins keep our secret, the same thing happened here. So now Meena is, uh, you know, awareing Mridu and she's warning her, please, this is a secret. Rakhna. Usko aise hai ki secret kyun rakhna? Because uh, what will happen if Pati comes to know? Pati here is the grandmother. Okay, if my grandmother knows that she will go to Paddu Mama. Ke ghar par chale so Paddu Mama, now she got a warning from her. So Paddu Mama's house, if she knows we have a cat, so they were very afraid so they kept a secret that they have a small kitten okay now this is the secret that they shared now what happened further now Ravi describes his problems Ravi usko batata hai Mridu ko ki usko kitni sari problems aati hai kitten ko rakhne ke liye you know uh, usko look after karne ke liye kitni problems aati hai to sabse pehli baat jo Ravi kehta hai he says that People always tell us to be kind to animals, but when we are, they scream, Oh, don't bring them, that dirty creature here. Now, what happens? Ye, aapke saath bhi aisa ho sakta hai. Generally, hume, humare parents or elders samjhate hai that we should look after uh, animals and we should be kind towards them. But jab bhi hum dekhte hai, supposingly, agar aap ek stray dog ko haath laga rahe ho, ya fir, 
हम उसको मिल्क डाल रहे हैं या मतलब यू नो वी आर डूइंग एनी थिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो आर एल्डर्स विल बी लाइक ओ डोंट डू दैट इट इज इट इज़ अ डर्टी क्रीचर सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट रवि वॉज फेसिंग यू नो वाइल कीपिंग दैट किटन okay now the next problem ravi tells us it is also hard to get the milk now you will see in the next position that ravi is struggling to get milk for the cat now what happens ravi wants to feed the cat wo uske liye milk lana chahta hai but jaise hi wo refrigerator se milk nikalta hai jo uski grandmother hote hai pati wo usko dekh lete hain and pati usko suspiciously dekhte hai like he is holding the glass and pati usko aise dekhte hai ki aapne is milk ke sath kya karna hai so he ha- so what happens so he had to drink most of the milk to throw her off the scent now here the word throw her off the scent means to uh, you know unko pagal bana raha unko ऐसे अपीयर करना कि एक्चुअल में मैं दूध पीना चाहता हूँ सो ही ड्रैंक सम ऑफ द मिल्क जस्ट टू शो दैट ही इज एक्चुअली ड्रिंकिंग द मिल्क एंड ही इज नॉट टेकिंग इट एनी वेयर तो बट वो एक्चुअली में वो मिल्क था किटन के लिए बट उसको पीना पड़ा पाती को ये दिखाने के लिए कि मिल्क किसके लिए वो खुद पीना चाहता है सो so, पाती उससे भी ज्यादा क्लेवर थे पाती ने क्या कहा पी लो तुम सारा दूध पी लो एंड गिव मी द टम्बलर बैग दिस इज वॉट पाती सेड सो अब नाउ रवि वॉज थिंकिंग कि अब मैं क्या करूँ अब जो थोड़ा सा मिल्क रह गया है सो रवि सेड दैट मैं इसको खुद क्लीन कर दूंगा पाती जो टम्बलर है एंड देन ही रश्ड आउटसाइड तो उसने बाहर जाके क्या किया वो सारा टम्बलर में जितना भी थोड़ा सा तो मिल्क रह गया था उसने हाफ कोकोनट शेल में वो मिल्क डाल दिया सो so, ऐसी वो अपनी प्रॉब्लम्स डिस्क्राइब कर रहा था कि कितनी उसको स्ट्रगल हो रही है मतलब थोड़ा सा भी मिल्क किटन को देने के लिए और किटन को रखने के लिए तो उसको बहुत सारी स्ट्रगल्स हो रही थी दीज वर द प्रॉब्लम्स ही वॉज फेसिंग Uh, so now he mentions this these are the exact wordings of ravi ravi says that now we have to think of some other way to feed mahendran this is the first time uh, this word has been used in this chapter he says mahendran now uh mahendran this little kitty's name is mahendran now mridu was surprised mahendran ek choti si cute si kitty ka naam mahendran kaise ho sakta hai now mridu was surprised and also she was impressed ki jaise ek real human being ka naam hota hai inhone to kitty ka itna acha naam rakha hai so um what happened next ravi went into telling the story ab ravi batana chahta tha ki mahendran naam ke piche story kya hai so ravi aap aage dekhoge ki ravi explain karega ki kaise uska naam नाम उसने महेंद्रन रखा एंड एवरीथिंग सो विल रीड इट इट्स अ वेरी रियल नेम सो शी वॉज वेरी सरप्राइज विद इट नाउ वॉट रवि डज रवि टेल्स द किटन्स फुल नेम इज नाउ रवि डिड नॉट स्टॉप ओवर दैर वो महेंद्रन पे रुका नहीं वो उसका पूरा नाम बताता है वो कहते हैं इसका पूरा नाम है महेंद्र वर्मा पल्लवा पुनई एंड ही ऑल्सो सेज दैट यू कैन कॉल दिस किटी एज एम पी पुनई इन शॉर्ट अगर आपको इतना बड़ा नाम लग रहा है यू कैन कॉल दिस कैट एज एम पी पुनई नाउ रवि इज़ वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट द कैट वो अपनी जैसे हमारे पास कोई चीज़ होती है तो हम उसकी प्रेस करते हैं ना सिमिलरली रवि तो मतलब अपनी किटन की बहुत प्रेस कर रहा था नाउ यू विल फर्दर सी कि कैसे वो एक पल्लवा किंग्स के साथ रिलेट करता है कैसे वो एंशियंट एंशियंट कैट की इस तरह रिलेट करता है विल सी इट ऑल सो इट्स इज दैट इट इज़ अ वेरी फाइन ब्रीड ऑफ कैट मेरी कैट कोई ऐसी वैसी कैट नहीं है रवि इज सेंग दैट सो नाउ उसके बाद अपनी कैट के उसके लिए और क्या बोलता है रवि कंपेयर is the fur of cat with lion's mane what is mane mane is the neck the the hair that lion has on the neck na so the ravi is basically comparing the cat with the lion so you see he is so happy with the cat and ravi also questions mridu about the emblem of ancient pallava kings so now wo kya karta hai mridu se question puchta hai kya tumhe emblem nahi pata jo pallava kings ka emblem hai wo bhi to yahi hai and then mridu giggled giggle means laugh <laughs> like usko lag raha tha ki ravi to joke kar raha hai but ravi was serious and wo apne mind mein itni stories bana raha tha so mridu giggled now what happens is uh, he mentions that uh, have you ever been to mahabalipuram wo wahan par fir apni sari story batata hai jab वो अपने एक स्कूल ट्रिप के लिए महाबलीपुरम गया था नाउ दिस इज वेरी फनी ओवर हेयर दैट ही टेल्स दैट ही सॉ अ स्टैचू अब स्टैचू में उसने क्या देखा दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट टेक्स्ट व्हिच ही सेज दैट थाताज 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 एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा नाउ ही मेंट टू से दैट ये बहुत एंशियंट है जैसे हम बोलते हैं ना इसकी मतलब इसके ग्रैंडफादर की ग्रैंडफादर की ग्रैंडफादर की ग्रैंडफादर सो वो इस तरीके से रिलेट कर रहा था सो ही मैंशन दैट थाताज 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 सो बेसिकली द फैक्ट इज 
Ravi was trying to mention that Mahendran is a descendant from that very ancient cat. Again, you see, he he's just praising his cat again and again. So Ravi ne conclude kya kya? Ravi concluded that this cat is a descendant from a Mahabalipuram Rishi cat. Ab usne bola ki ek Rishi cat hai, ye to uski descendant hai. So this is all what he was saying about his cat. Now what happened further? अब जो मीन मीना और मृदु थे वो ऐसे खड़े हुए थे और वो उसकी सारी बातें सुन रहे थे and you know हमारे साथ भी ऐसा होता है जब हम किसी की बातें सुन रहे हैं और हमें लगता है कि क्या बोल ही जा रहा है इसका कोई relevance नहीं है तो मृदु और मीना ने क्या किया उन्होंने exchange की looks कि what is he talking about like that? So उन दोनों ने एक दूसरे से पूछा what does this have to do with anything? इसका कुछ लेना देना भी है पूरी story के साथ ही इतनी praise करी जा रहा है अपनी cat के साथ मृदु demanded मृदु ने पूछा is there any relevance? So this is what Ravi said. Huh, I am telling this cat is a descendant from Egyptian cat god. Now he's cat god. Pe ke. No, 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 goddess. That is what he said. Bastard. Um, yeah, that's it. So this is where he ended praising his cat. Okay. Now let's see what happened further. Now what happens in the next scene? Yahan par kya hota hai? There is a sound. Uh, like a very weird sound, a creeching sound. So Mahendran looked up, alarmed. Alarmed means he was uh, alerted, the kitten, okay? Mahendran is the kitten. He was chopping his claws on the edge of coconut shell. In the beginning, we read that uh, the kitten was served the milk in the coconut shell. Now, he half coconut shell, he served milk serve kya hua tha. So the kitten was basically sharpening the claws. Creech! Ek the message sound hai. A weird sound came from the window. Mridu was startled. Startled means surprised and amazed. So, and the kitten was also frightened, okay? But the creeching, uh, creeching sound did not stop. And Mridu asked surprisingly, what's the noise? Now, in the sound, what happens? They were all talking about the kitten and suddenly a noise a jati hai. And suddenly a noise a jati hai. And Mridu is, you know, you are at somebody's place. So, Mridu asked, what's the noise? Ye aisi kaisi awaz a rahi hai? So, uske baad Ravi pa and MP Punai was also frightened. Before uh, Ravi tells Mridu about that this is Lali who is playing the violin, what happens is, after listening that creeching sound, MP Punai, again the kitten, Mahendran, was frightened. He bounced on the tray of red chilies trying to hide beneath. He tipped a few chilies over himself. Now, what happens? Kitten. Kitten is a small creature, right? Now, if it suddenly a sound, then what will kitten do? Will it run away? So, similarly, Mahindran ran away and what did trip? There was a tray of red chilies and it fell on it. It was trying to hide it and it was trying to hide it. Meow! He howled miserably. Means he cried. Okay? That's what happened. Now, Ravi tells Ravi tells Mridu that this is the same thing. Okay? That's what happened. Now, Ravi tells Ravi tells to Mridu Mridu asked that this is the same thing. So, Ravi tells that that's Lully learning to play violin. This is their um, the third cousin who's coming into picture, Lali, who's trying to play violin, learning actually, learning to play violin. So he compares master's singing like a train whizzing on and on, but Lali's train is derailing. Now here what happens in the story is, Ravi kehta hai, Ravi kehta hai ki jise master hai na, master ki singing to aise hai jise track pe woo karke train chalti hai, okay? But jo ab lalli ki train hai, wo to kabhi rail pe aati nahi hai. So that is why the word is used derailing. The train is always derailed. Kabhi rail pe aati nahi hai, to woop karke chalne ka to koi, you know, point hi nahi hai. It's no question. So this is what happens. And this is where the first part of the chapter ends.